Hi guys, it's Max Fisher here from A Better Universe, and uh, it is your Mindfulness Monday. So I know, guys, that uh, we didn't get a weekend warrior or uh, a fired up Friday in last week. I apologize for that, guys. In you know, 24 hours in a day, it's hard to get around to everything, and uh, sometimes bigger opportunities come your way that you got to take advantage of. You really got to put in the work and. Uh, and make sure that you, you commit to it because uh, you don't want to miss out. And it, it's a matter of uh, putting in the work when, when you got to and sacrificing the things that, uh, that you have to to make the time to do what you need to do. So with all that said, um, let's get into our Mindfulness Monday today. Tomorrow marks the end of the 30-day challenge and we'll go over that all tomorrow. I'll make another video, but today, I want to talk about uh, your outward circumstances affecting your inward uh, experience. So, it was not a good morning. It was, uh, woke up late for work, just felt off, you know how you feel off when you do that, and then uh, truck wouldn't start, tried to troubleshoot it forever, ended up, you know, just being a dead battery, but wasted a couple hours trying to do that, so now I'm at a, at a, minimum of time for what I can uh, put into what I needed to. I thought I was going to have a couple hours for a lunch break. Now I'm down to 45 minutes before I have to go back. So, but that's not the point, guys. That's, you know, I'm not saying that to complain or to let you guys know that it's hard or whatever, you know, I'm sure everyone has hard days or tougher days than that. Um, but the idea is when you wake up and you think to yourself, something bad goes wrong and you already think, Hey, it's going to be one of those days. Don't. It's not. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Because uh, if you think that, it'll become that. And your subconscious mind, law of attraction, all of that stuff will play a bigger role. And uh, if you if you sit there and you believe it's going to be one of those days, and you let that you know affect you, put you in a bad mood, make you feel off all day. It, it, that you're not in control. Everything that outwardly happens doesn't have to inwardly affect your who you are as a person. You can maintain a sense of happiness no matter what. As sometimes it takes just looking at a bigger picture. Sometimes it look takes uh, it takes looking at what you're grateful for, all the things that you have, and that you know, or someone in a worse off situation realizing that you know. If they were here, they'd be just happy to be in this position and they wouldn't be really worried about, uh, you know, your t truck battery dying or something stupid like that, you know. That's just, that stuff shouldn't affect your happiness. So today, I want to kind of do a little bit of a meditation to put you back, guys back in control, to make you realize that, you know, your thoughts and experiences are just an accumulation and your interpretation of that is only your perception of it you know you can always look for the better in anything so when we close our eyes you know we're gonna start by feeling grateful for everything that we have and um, you know just realizing that and then we're gonna look at our breath a little bit and because uh, you know if you're in control of your breath the thing that gives you your life the very force which you breathe in that keeps everything going uh, you should be able to control a lot minor aspects of your life. Just for example, the you know the chemical dump that it takes to be happy, or whatever, or the neural impulses that cause the chemical dump. So um, we focus on that gratefulness, and then I you know we bring our I, our tent to our breath, and we realize we're in control of that, and um, we can kind of start to observe the neural pathways. Uh, and enhance our perception and uh, you know focus on the sensation of being happy and uh, being able to replicate that at any time guys so that's the idea today and uh, let's get right into it so close your eyes and you know take a couple deep breaths diaphragmatic breathing all the way down to your stomach sit up straight if you're not already Just kind of let everything go for a little while. Sensation of your breath, filling your stomach, bringing you to a peaceful state. Oh, see, just gotta let that stuff go, guys. Oh, big breath in, big breath out. Start to think of 
some small things in your life that you're grateful for. Whether it's your dog or your girlfriend or the house you live in, job, car you drive, your health. Start to focus on your friends and family and all the things you've been given. Be grateful for that. Focus on the sensation. The little rise and lift that it gives you. With each exhale, letting go. Of just that little bit of stress or anger. Weight lifted off your shoulders. And be grateful for what you have. Focus on your breath. As you draw in through your nose and out through your mouth, cleansing with each exhale, bringing a fresh new energy in with each inhale. Be grateful for this. Your breath is your most important asset on this world. So it keeps you alive and healthy. Be happy for this opportunity and every breath that you take. control, breathe in deep, fill up your lungs and feel them expand, and exhale, feel the sensation of the rising in your chest, and fall as you exhale. a shift in your mind to a more peaceful state. Realize that you're in control. Nothing that outwardly affects you they inwardly affect you. It's only in your own perception. And in your perception you have a choice to look at things a little differently. Just like the rise and fall of your breath. You're only in control when you think about it. You only move your breath when you focus your intent. Otherwise, it automatically runs. Just so as the mind Focus your intent on your thoughts. Increase your perception and awareness of what's going on inside so that nothing outside has control of you.
focus on your happiness. Put a smile on your face and feel the joy overwhelm your body. Observe the sensations in your mind, the way it feels through your body. Build these connections and intensify the sensations. This is how you build control and rewrite your subconscious programming. Be happy and grateful. Smile more. Slowly open your eyes. Take in your surroundings. you're still in control. You still have the ability to affect your happiness, your thoughts and emotions. Stay in control, guys. This is Max Fisher from A Better Universe. Your mind, body, spirit connection. Hope to see you guys later.